Hey, what's up, guys? It's Pastor Cliff here. Uh, this is episode two of my new video blog. Sorry I didn't post last week. Um, got a little busy. My mom was here from Connecticut, and uh, we got a little busy with some other things and stuff, so I didn't really have a chance to record it. But here goes. I'm on the back, my back porch in my backyard, and uh, just enjoying this beautiful morning <clears throat> and uh, having a little bit of coffee. And I uh, can't start the day without it. Uh, so uh, last night was awesome. We had a great night in our PM service. Our young people led worship and did such a phenomenal job. And I'm so proud of all of them. We have some of the most amazing, gifted, talented, beautiful young people uh, in our youth ministry. <clears throat> and I'm just so proud of all of them and, and the hard work that they did uh, to pull last night off. So, um, so uh, mega kudos to them. Uh, I want to read to you a quick scripture uh, for... Uh, just a just a thought for today that I want you to think about from Isaiah chapter 55. Uh, I've been meditating on this passage of scripture lately, and uh, may may even be developing a message from it uh, pretty soon. But uh, such an awesome verse it says this in Isaiah 55 and verse one: Everyone who thirsts, come to the waters, and you who have no money, come buy and eat. Yes, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend money for what is not bread? and your wages for what does not satisfy. Listen carefully to me and eat what is good, and let your soul delight itself in abundance. I love that. That's such an awesome invitation <clears throat> that God is giving to us in His Word. Uh, he's saying, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. It doesn't matter who you are. Uh, no one is disqualified from coming to drink uh, from God's waters. I mean, it's just, I don't care who you are, what you're going through, what you're dealing with. Uh, you can come. Maybe you need a refreshing in your soul. Maybe you feel dry in your spirit uh, and you need a refreshing from God. You can come to the waters. And uh, I love that last part. It says, let his, uh, it says, um, and let your soul delight itself in abundance. I believe it's God's will that we walk in abundance in our relationship with him. Uh, John 10 and 10, Jesus says, the thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy, but I've come that you may have life that you may have it more abundantly. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm convinced that far too many believers are living way beneath their potential. They're living way beneath their capacity. And God is wanting to, to fill them up and fill us up. And, and you know, there's times in my life where, where I'm dry in my relationship with Him. But uh, I, need to, I need to make it a point to daily come to the waters and be satisfied and revived uh, from him. So I love you guys and I hope you guys are having a great week so far and uh, looking forward to part two this coming Wednesday night uh, of our beautiful bride series. Uh, this, this coming Wednesday night is going to be awesome. Uh, also this coming Sunday night, uh, please don't miss out. Uh, my good friends from Connecticut out of hiding are going to be with us. They're going to be here with their, their ministry team. They're going to be leading worship. They're also going to be ministering to us. Um, and they'll also be here Monday night at 6 p.m. as well. So two nights, uh, it's going to be a great time in God's presence. You do not want to miss this. So make sure you make plans to be with us Sunday night. Uh, even if you have to drive a good ways to get here, it'll be worth it. I promise you. They're going to have plenty of product and different things. They've got some amazing CDs that they've put out and some other uh, great resources you're going to want to take advantage of. So uh, invite your friends. Spread the word. Help us to uh, make this event an incredible success. Also, from, from what I understand, we're going to be allowing our church um, uh, to the opportunity to come back and be a part of that worship service also. So we'll probably have a big crowd Sunday night. Uh, so uh, please just make plans to be with us. It's going to be a great, great time. I love you guys. I hope you guys have, are having a blessed day, and we'll talk to you soon.